Bill Clark. If you were here a couple of weeks ago, Kevin Weimar got us thinking about setting up some goals. And you asked for two goals. And I thought, well, what are my two goals for, next, for 2018? And if you've ever seen the movie They Live, I have not, but I've seen the famous quote from it. It's real simple. Guy comes in with a gun. He goes, I'm here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> so I took some liberties with your goals, Kevin. And I actually decided to do one kick donkey thing for each month of the year of 2018. And I'm here to convince you that maybe you should set up your 2018 goals now as opposed to New Year's Eve. Which I've done in the past. They don't last. So I want to tell you a story. And it's not going to make sense at first, but that's okay. It will at the end. I'm going to walk up to my parents' house. And I'm going to walk on the front porch. And when I look to the right on the swings, I'm going to see three large books. One of them is talking. When I look to the left, I see a log. It's not a normal log, it's in the shape of a bee. I walk into the house, and I turn right, and who should be on the sofa but Jim Key, Darren McCroy, and Ed Tate, three former world champions of public speaking. They say, hey, join us, and you don't even need to shave your head. <laughs> Those of you who know them. <laughs> I walk into the guest bedroom, and there is our old family friend, Bill Bumler, and he's wearing a snorkel outfit. So then I go upstairs, and on the landing of the stairs, there's my father-in-law and my three kids. My father-in-law is holding a glass of wine, and my three kids are holding an Austin Powers movie. I walk up, I walk into the bathroom, I walk, and I look into the toilet, and you're gonna bear with me for a second. I see in the toilet something brown. A can of Yoo-Hoo. <laughs> It'll all make sense in a minute. <laughs> you will remember that image, though, I guarantee you. I walk out, and then I walk into my grandma's old bedroom, and in my grandma's old bedroom, there's a giant turkey sitting in the middle of her bedroom. I then walk into my old bedroom, and there's a giant Christmas tree between two beds. And I walk into my mom and dad's room, and there are my mom, my dad, and my grandma all sitting here. My grandma has ripped up all of her old pinochle cards. I don't want them anymore. We're going to play with a real deck of cards. <clears throat> well, how does that relate to my 12 goals? Well, let's go back. I walk up on the porch, and I looked over on the swing and I saw three books, one talking. I have been working on three books and one talking book for over a year. It's time in 2018 to get three of them done. I'm leaving myself a little wiggle room there, three out of four. The log shaped in a B, well that's a B log, a blog. I've been working on the <laughs> blog too. It's time to start publishing every day on the blog. I walked in, okay this one was fairly obvious. Jim Key, world, the world champions of public speaking sitting there. I want to take one more run at it. You don't need to start, though. I haven't started yet. Don't, I don't need the competition. <laughs> but I'm going to take one more run at the world championship of public speaking and toast methods in 2018. I walk into the guest bedroom, and our family friend, Bill Baumler, who also passed away a while ago, also had a house down in the Florida Keys. Well, as it happens in June, I'm going on a trip where we're going to snorkel and shark fish and do some other things camping out in the Florida Keys. So some of these are just going to fall right into place when you want to kick the donkey. I mean, you got the trip already there. That one's going to happen. I walk up to the landing. There's my father-in-law holding a glass of wine. Nothing really unique about that. And my kid's holding Austin Powers. Well, that can only mean one thing. We're all obviously going to get in the van and leave our house in Charleston, South Carolina and go to watch a baseball game. The wine was just to get me into Charleston, South Carolina. The Austin Powers is because it's boys' night out and we have to have some sort of movie in the van to and from the game, a like Austin Powers or something close. Trip to Charleston, we've already booked the house. We're good on that one. Then when I went upstairs, I looked in the, fur in the bathroom. What could that possibly mean? Well, every summer we run day camp out at East Fork State Park for the Cub Scouts. We take a week, and my friend Jason and I sell a lot of Yoohoo and other things to the Cub Scouts. But Yoohoo is the <coughs> official drink of day camp. I can't stand it, but the kids like it. Mmm, water, chocolate, and salt. Yummy. It, it sells. So I will order the Yoohoo, and we will have a week off sitting underneath a shelter telling jokes and selling Yoohoo. Next one, turkey, well, pretty much Thanksgiving. 
our family does a really good job with Thanksgiving. We bring everybody in. We have the turkey and all the other things, and we watch football, and it's just an awesome time. And an automatic tick box. Christmas tree, see also Thanksgiving. <laughs> now we come to the last one. There's my family. My mom, my dad, my grandma. Sitting around a card table waiting for me to join. My grandma always liked pinochle. She couldn't stand regular deck of cards. So her tearing up the pinochle just simply tells you that it's all about a regular deck of cards. And this is how we tie the whole story together. My goal for 2018, God help me, is I want to memorize within two minutes an entire deck of cards. It can be done. Somebody actually has done it in 30 minutes max. The way you do it is by creating what is called a memory palette. What is a memory palace? A home where you're very familiar with individual rooms. In this case, I'll probably need either 17 or 26, depending on how I categorize my cards. And you put the images in the rooms very quickly. They have to be memorable things. A can of you in a toilet is memorable. You do that, and, and by the way, if you want to look at the book on this, and I'm not suggesting, by the way, that you should all memorize a bunch of things for your 2018 goals. Not everybody has a kind of warp sickness like I do. But the book, oh my god, is this embarrassing? <laughs> <laughs> Moonwalking with Einstein. Moonwalking with Einstein is the name of the book, and it's a really good book. Now, even if you're not looking to memorize things, it's a really well-written book about how we learn and things like that. It recommends the memory palace. And so that's what I demonstrated here today, and that is the big goal is memorizing the deck of cards. So what about you? What do you want to get done in 2018? I'd say, figure it out now. Don't wait for New Year's Eve. And whatever you do, make sure that you don't have to chew bubble gum. <laughs> Set those goals and kick some butt.